Hey guys, it's Gabe here from Fly on the Line. Today we are going to be tying the sponge spider. Now I really like this pattern. It's supposedly a very great bass pattern. Um, bass, bluegill, um, and works great for trout too. Um, yeah, I just heard a, really, a lot of good things about it. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our like you have maybe a uh, old pair of scissors I'm trying to find mine here it is like this I marked it so I can see that it used to be bent and we bent it back but so what you're gonna do is I'll just show you I'm just gonna cut it out first and then I'll show you guys how what it's supposed to look like so we ha we're using like yellow craft foam I just got it at Michaels or any craft store, really. So you're gonna cut out a piece about that big. So that's compared to this size 10, I think. Yes, yeah, size 10 uh, hopper and terrestrial hook. Okay, so I just cut that poem piece out. Now I'm gonna take my um, ultra thread. It's a chartreuse floss. This is what it looks like. Just an idea. I put it on my bobbin. Now I'm just gonna start it up my eye, and I want to. I'm gonna build up a nice, big body because you want it to kind of be a little bulky. Because we're not using any dubbing for this. Okay, now you should take your scissors. Next, we're going to grab that piece of foam that we cut out. And we're just going to kind of wrap to like a midsection here. We're going to go lightly over it, and then we're going to go one more wrap, and then pull down, and then lay down a couple tight wraps. Then, we're just going to wrap forward. Right now, I'm sorry. I'm like really tired today. I just got up, so um, so you're gonna, you're gonna go to this middle section, kind of give it that tight little section, fix the foam if you need to. Then we are going to grab some silly legs, perfectly barred sand color. That's the company. Then I already have a piece out. So we're just going to take one little strand, and I'm just going to pop it off. Then, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold it in half, like that, hold it, and I'm just going to pull it to there and cut it. And then... We have two legs. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay it flat across the foam. So like lay it on top of the foam. Like that. Then you're just gonna lay down one loose and then one tight wrap. Then you're just going to take those legs and pull them to the sides. Then you're just going to pull one, maybe one of the legs back and kind of make it a little bit more separated. Adjust your legs on your fly. I'm just going to take my wrap forward, and we'll cut those later. So you're just going to wrap, I'm going to make one more last section, and we're just going to go like right there. Just 
And lay it out in a couple tight wraps, just like you did on the front. And I'm just going to grab another silly leg. Just one little strand like we did before. Being stubborn. There we go. So then just do the same thing. Line both the lay ends up. Cut it. You got your legs. Lay it across. They don't have to be exactly even because you're going to cut it eventually. Hmm. Just take those legs and you're going to pull them. Come on. Work with me here. Okay. So there we go. Now what we're going to do, we're just going to take a couple wraps, pull everything back, a couple wraps in front of the eye, and then just going to grab our whip finisher. Actually, it might be easier. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pinch our legs to about that, to a good length, like this. And you're just going to snip them. And then you're going to do the same thing here. Snip them. So now you got your legs. Nice legs. Okay. Do. Okay. And then we're going to take our whip finisher. Pull it back. Sometimes it's harder to do a whip finish with foam with floss because it is a lot slippery, more slippery. So just do a couple turns. Doesn't really matter. You want it, but you want it tight because this is for bass and bass are vicious. Okay. I'm just going to kind of adjust everything. And then what you're going to do, you're just going to take a snip like that, so it's like, you can see, it's flat like that. You do the same thing in the back. Then you're just, I usually, I've seen people just leave it like that. I like to do it like this. Do a snip on both sides. And then... Kind of round it out by just taking clips on the edges. Oh, I'll get my leg. So it'll look like that. And then I'll show you with this view what we gotta do. So just like that. Like that. If it's too pointy, clip trim it back a little bit. And then and just clip all those little corners. That's about good. Sounds that to be perfect. So then, as usual, because this is also a bass fly, I'm going to use some Sally Hansen. I'm just going to do right in between, right under the foam. I'm going to get it under there. Sometimes I like to kind of just go in the middle section too, just because for extra strength. Okay, that's it. And that is how you tie the foam spider.
thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe, and also check out my blog, flyontheline.blog.wordpress.com. Thank you guys for watching. Have please have a great day.